epigastric pain that developed three months ago. She lost currently four kilos, and the workup done in May of this year showed that the lip, uh, lipase was as uh, 85, normal liver tests, and the CA199 was at 4,000. The uh, ultrasound showed no uh, gallstones and no biliary dilation. The endoscopy was normal, but the MRI showed a pancreatic mass in the head of the pancreas, a uh, focal duct stricture, uh, and we uh, have seen restricted uh, in uh, diffusion. Um, there was a contact with the superior mesenteric vein and hepatic focal lesions. She is scheduled today for endoscopic ultrasound and FNB, and we shall join Dr. Tan at Valhoft for the procedure. All right, so today uh, we are going to show you a case of a pancreatic tumor with a portable liver mass. And we were just discussing about whether you know, we should go through the whole system, and I, we all agreed that you know, we would like to show everybody how we normally would do things. So normally, I would actually start off with the aorta, and uh, usually I'll start at a 40 centimeter mark, and I'll actually go down, and you can see that uh, you will find that there's a diaphragm over there. You can see the, the black uh, layer there. And where the diaphragm is, where it ends, you can start to find the celiac takeoff over here. All right, so that's very nice. Okay, you can see the arrow pointing to the celiac takeoff. And usually over here, I would look where the celiac lymph nodes are, look for any lymph nodes, because that's an area that uh, can have a metastasis. And uh, there's an area also you want to contemplate your celiac neurolysis for the patient if they have pain. So you can see the pancreas is over onto the other side. You just have to push your big wheel forward a little, and you go over the hump. And straight away, you see that we have a nice dilated pancreatic duct. If you freeze the image here, and using our calipers, you can measure. And this is a dilated duct at about four millimeters. All right, there is some lobularity, some hyperchoic stranding that shows that this could be some chronic pancreatitis changes. Normally, I would then rotate uh, clockwise and move towards the tail of the pancreas. All right, and uh, you can see there's a, the pancreas tail going right there. And you know where you end is when you start to see the kidney or the spleen. All right, can continue. Yeah. yeah, so next thing we go towards the neck and we uh, anti clockwise talk, and you can see that you follow this waterfall sign. You can see nicely the pancreatic duct forming a waterfall. That's what Rob Hawes would say. Okay, and this is where you can see this is the neck when it forms an elongated tube. And if you anti clockwise a little bit more, you'll go towards the portal vein. All right, sometimes you can see it, sometimes it's not, but it doesn't matter. So what happens is that you'll flip over to the liver. All right, and this is where normally we start to look for liver metastasis. The studies have shown if you do a careful examination, you may pick up liver metastasis in up to 6% of the time when the CD scan or MRI has missed it. And you can see we are rotating anti-clockwise all the way towards the segment 2. And now we are coming up to the segment 2, and you can begin to see that there is a subtle liver lesion over here. Can you see that this is the liver metastasis? Very nice. Yes, we can see. Okay? Yeah. Just continue. Okay, we're going to puncture now with a quick jab. Okay, so you can see that the needle is in, and now we're going to do a slow pull. Sorry. Is that no, no, it's fine. All right, so you have to mix small jabs in with a slow pull back. And then this is a small lesion, so I have to rotate gently and try to get it in view using my left hand to anti-clockwise, and I using my thumb to rotate the big wheel to fan it at different areas. So, so can you see that this is thing called fanning? Just to try to uh, to have a clear take a message about the, of, about uh, biopsies in the in the liver. Uh, so about the needle, always FNB, 22 gauge gauge needle for tumor and 19 gauge for liver Sorry, biopsy. We have randomized series showing that. And for the use of the of the FNB, uh, I think the most important point is is to do fanning. After you can do wet suction, dry suction, uh, slow pull out style technique. Uh, it's, it is the same. We have no no proof in the literature. One one technique is better than another one. So do fanning, exactly. and after do what you want. Damien, do you do agree right. with that? Yes. So my standard is fanning. Uh, I always go uh, up and down using my elevator yeah. and big wheel, and I even use uh, fanning by anti-clockwise yeah. and clockwise. So I fan in three dimensional to get a cuboidal volume or a cylindrical volume. So that gives me the best yield I find because I can sample different parts of the tumor. Especially for pancreatic cancer, uh, when I talk to my scientists, when we sample different areas, they actually get out different clones. Uh, so camera, but here we okay. have some oh, white stuff. Nice. Yeah, nice. and also here. 
can you zoom in onto this area here? Yeah, we can see a little bit now. Yeah, yeah so there's actually a nice uh, white core inside, like a little worm. Yeah, so I, I, I think we managed to have uh, adequate tissue. Go on to the primary, you can see that this is a hyperchoic mass in the head of the pancreas. And you can see it measures about 1.6 uh, by about 2.7. And uh, over the other side, we can see that this is the bile duct. So I'm going to show you the portal vein. So normally, we also go to the portal vein. You can see over here, uh, this is the portal vein on this side here. You can see it flowing. And uh, a lot of times, uh, our surgeons ask us uh, to show whether there's involvement. So you can see over here, the portal vein is running next to the tumor. All right, that's right, right? That's the portal vein. Yeah. And I will do anti-clockwise to go one side. You can see that's the splenic confluence uh, with the portal vein and the SMV. And I go on the other side clockwise. So this one. So once you're in the six o'clock position, uh, it makes it easier. Okay, I usually bring the my needle down mm -hmm. to the to the dinner wall. I'll sharpen the tip. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, usually I find that necrosis is uh, uh, more when you're about three centimeter to four centimeter. The necrosis is usually right uh, in the middle. So because I've rows, my cytotech tells me on the spot a lot of necrosis. I actually will go to the edge. But if I have more time, I can do what you call elastography, or I can even use contrast, and that sometimes helps me. So a lot of times, it's, it's based on the echo pattern. Very, very black, very, very dark necrosis. Uh, my rows uh, uh, feedback, they tell me I shift location. Or if you have uh, elastography or uh, contrast, you can use that too. Yeah, and I think if we look at this lesion, I'm not really worried about necrosis. I exactly. think this is just Pure a tumor. massive PDEC. Yes. Okay. So just puncture. Okay, I'm going to puncture now. Ah, okay. that's nice. So you can see it's a quick jab. You want to show that the needle's in, and now we can do the slow pull. And I think you can also clearly appreciate the visibility of this, uh, this needle. I think we can pretty well see it. Uh, and now also we are just going uh, in all directions. Yeah, so you can see my hand, I'm doing an anti-clockwise and yes, moving I'm, my big I'm really and impressed planning. by the visibility of the tip of the needle. Yeah, so it's ah. very nice. Very nice sharp tip. And I can rotate anti-clockwise to fan in 3D. So I'm changing in the anti-clockwise if you look at my hand. And I'm training clockwise and using my big wheel. So I'm rotating my needle in and out at different planes. So this gives a, a white uh, 3D appearance that I can get for my fanning. How about you, Jeannie? Do you fan a lot too? Yeah, I also do fan, uh, although I know that there's about one randomized control trial, though from uh, quite um, a known center, like it is with the, the slow pool. Uh, I have some people in my unit who really do not believe in the slow pool because they said it's ever proven that it's negative pressure. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I think that we do quite many things uh, because we yeah. uh, believe it works. Yeah. Uh, so Damien, some of Damien, my Damien, Korean friends... We, we would like to yeah. thank you very much for this nice uh, demonstration okay. of both the uh, liver metastasis function and the uh, primitive lesion. Thank you so much.